All right. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechakodash. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the elect brethren that are scattered across the four corners of the earth, doing his work in truth and sincerity. And I uh, just wanted to um, go into a lesson. lesson. Uh, and, and this topic had kind of been on my mind here and there for a while, and I had heard the Apostle Hall make a comment dealing with the exact same thing that had uh, been on my spirit for a while. So I uh, uh, just wanted to get into the scriptures and, and show that, that Satan is pretty much a double agent for the Most High, man. And at the end of this thing, he's actually working against Esau, but Esau has it in his mind and is convicted that Satan is for his benefit, man. But when 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 the, when, when shit hits the fan and Esau uh, uh, runs to the power that's been over him, Satan is gonna turn his back under him because he's under complete order of the Most High, man. But uh, Lord willing, some edification come out of this video. Uh, I'm gonna play a short, short, short very short segment of uh, part of this video uh, from the Apostles Live, uh, and then go into the scriptures, man. Here we go. All these things. That's a, that's a, uh, uh, that's a, what you call it right there, Titan. What's that? What you just said with the both side control, both sides, something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. for a whole video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you got these morons in these so-called churches. They think Satan is battling the most high. Satan right. ain't battling the most high. That's Are you like crazy? Satan works for the most high. Satan works for the most high. Double, double agent, man. He's a double agent. Can I, can I read this real quick? This is that case. Another video. Hey, and that, that, that make you laugh, man, because it, it, this so-called white man has so much pride talking about the elites, man. <laughs> and they don't realize at the end of this thing, man, uh, the most high is going uh, to uh, tell Satan, okay, the job is over. That assignment I uh, set you on uh, is complete, man. All right? So I'm going to get into some scriptures, man, and, and just and show that that. That Esau, at the end of this thing, you're gonna be uh, you, you're gonna be upset, man. On top of going into the uh, going into slavery, man, because the power that you think is over you and protecting you is, is gonna fail you in that day, man. Because he's a Satan is an employee for Yah uh, Yahweh, all right. But this is uh, Obadiah, verse three. It says, "The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock." Whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Man, so you don't understand that, that, that the Most High is allowing you to get to this level here, man. He, he set Satan up on the left hand side. To, to strengthen you and give you power, but only for a short amount of time, and for the intent to build your pride up, as this he as and, and kingdom up as he did uh, Pharaoh, man. But at the end of this thing, he's gonna take you down, man. The Most High is in control of everything at all times, man. All right. This is a uh, Job chapter twelve and sixteen. It says, with him is strength and wisdom. Talking about the Most High. It says, the, de the deceived and the deceiver are his. So who are the deceived, man? First off, uh, uh, two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that have some way, form, or fashion bought into the lies of the so-called white man, man. And all the people uh, in the earth that, that, have, that have bit in to, to the... To the the lies and and, 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 and deceit of the so-called white man that he spread throughout the earth, all right. And of course, the deceiver is is Esau, the devil, all right. And and what the deceived and the deceit are his, so they belong to the Most High, man. So even you you niggas that are sold out to the so-called white man to these elites, uh, uh, you 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 follow on a, a man. That's following uh, uh, Satan, and Satan is under the control of the Most High. So how bugged out and low are you to be uh, following somebody who's deceived? All right, and not knowing it, Esau's deceived and don't know it. He think he's being cunning and wise, and he's he's doing all these magical, wicked things in the earth, man. All right. Yeah, it, it's funny, man, because Christianity will have you thinking that. Um, that that the so-called uh, um, 
that Satan is been cast out of uh, the, uh, out of heaven and is running through the earth causing havoc. No, man, he's operating through the so-called way, man. But he's in complete order under the Most High, man. All right. Uh, a precept I want to get in the book of Ecclesiasticus. This is uh, uh, Sirach chapter 42, and I'm going to start at 23. It says, all these things live and remain forever for all uses, man. So everything that the Most High has set to be created has a use, man, including Satan. All right? That's how he does his, his work on the left-hand side. He has Yahushua on the right-hand side and Satan on the left-hand side doing the bidding uh, 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 but he's still doing the bidding of the Most High. We'll read this verse again. This is uh, Sirach, or the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 42 and 23. It says, All these things live and remain forever for all uses, and they are all obedient, man. So all the creations that come from the Heavenly Father are in obedience, man. Nothing can go against the Most High, man. Nothing, nothing can change what he has uh, spoken and set forth, man. No power, no spirit can go against the Most High. So Satan is, in, is obedient unto the Most High, man. Alright? It's uh, verse 24. It says, All things are double one against another, and he hath made nothing imperfect, man. So the Most High didn't make anything uh, uh, imperfect, man. So Satan could have not rebelled against the Most High and got kicked out of heaven. Man, you don't understand the scriptures if you have that, that BS understanding in your mind, man. The Most High didn't make anything imperfect, man. So Satan is perfect. Doing exactly what the Most High, cre uh, the Most High created him to do, man. And just to back that up before I read on real quick, this is... Um, Isaiah chapter 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. So everything is done by the will and intent of the Heavenly Father for what he has it set to come out to do, man. All right? So he created Satan to, 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 uh, to, 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 uh, uh, to do his bidding on the left-hand side, man. But when you get into these wayward doctrines and this Christianity, you won't have no understanding of that, man, because they don't know the scriptures. Why? Because Esau is behind Christianity, man. He's the one pushing out all these BS doctrines, man. All right? Which is further, further deceit, man. All right? And that's just more stumbling blocks, man. Satan is giving Esau all this, all this uh, uh, knowledge to, 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 to deceive. To be stumbling blocks unto uh, unto uh, 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 two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America, and the rest of Jake throughout the earth, man. That have bit into that BS Christianity. Why? Because you're not of the Most High's elect. All right. It's uh, one more verse in uh, Sirach 42 and 25. It says, "One thing established the good of another. Everything works in complete uh, balance, man." All right. That's why we're in this flesh, and that's why we're going through the curses, so we can understand evil, man. We're we're seeing evil being uh, pushed through in the earth at uh, uh, at its highest uh, level, man. Being uh, uh, that Esau's in rulership, man. But this is the way the Most High intended it, man. So when we appreciate the kingdom on a whole nother level, being that we have seen evil rule the earth, man. All right. It says, and who shall be filled? And who shall be filled with beholding his glory? All right. So the Most High is behind everything, man. He's in control. He created complete balance, man. You can't have one without the, without the other, man. So he created sa uh, Satan as the balance uh, 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 on uh, uh, of evil, man. Now you have you have Yahweh Shah, like I said earlier. You have Yahweh Shah on the right hand side operating in righteousness. Through the middle of the Lord, and you have Satan on the left hand side operating uh, uh, through the so called white man, mainly the elites. Alright? But that's that's that that's the balance of it, man. 
All right, and the, and the proof to show that Satan is is under the control of the Most High man is uh writing Job chapter one. This is uh Job chapter one, and I'm gonna start at verse six. It says, "Now there was a day when the sons of Yahweh came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them." All right, so it said the sons of Yahweh came to present. So Satan, being one of the sons of Yahweh, he was present. All right. It says, and the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down it, in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth Yahweh and escheweth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear Yahweh for not? Has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face so this account is speaking on when satan uh came to the most high and he was basically asking uh, is the most is, does, does, does job fear you for not man if you take away all the things that he have and the hedge that you of protection that you've put around him will he still uh, uh believe in you and fear you all right it said in verse 12 it says and the lord said unto satan behold all that he hath is in thy power only upon himself Put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. So Satan had to go present his case to the Heavenly Father and get and the Most High granted him position uh, permission to go and test Job. So if Satan was this rebel that's go rogue up in in, in the heavens, don't you think he would have just operated uh, uh, under the radar and did whatever he wanted to do to Job? No, he had uh, specific guidelines permission and details on what he could go and do to Job, all right, from the Most High, proving that he's under the control of the Heavenly Father, man, so you goddamn devils, man, you elites, man, Satan is, is going to turn his back on you, man, you done, you, you done been trusting in your wickedness and your witchcraft, man, and your whole history, man, you don't want that history to come to light, but it's already out, man, concerning the Illuminati and all the witchcraft and warlocks that, uh, that you are, man. All right, so when when the time come when you go to go go to your power, he's not gonna answer you, man. Why? Because he's working for the Most High. All right, and uh, grab this last scripture. It's Isaiah chapter forty-seven and verse ten. It says, "For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee." And thou hast said in thine heart, I am none, none else beside me. And this is the, the mindset of the elites, man, the Amalekites, man, these gutter rats that's ruling the earth, man. They really feel that they're on the level of the Most High, man. And why? Because Satan is, is leading them to believe this by, uh, uh, by uh, which they operate through, putting them on a, putting them on a level in the earth to where they feel unstoppable, man. All right. This verse 11 it says therefore shall evil come come upon thee thou shalt not know from whence it rises man he's gonna catch Esau off guard man because his pride is so high he's gonna when, when it happens he's gonna be thinking oh look man I'm protected by my, my God Satan what happened what's going on man all right that's when Satan ain't gonna answer that phone no more man he gonna he gonna uh, have your ass on, uh, send you the voicemail heaven all right he says, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Verse 12, stand now, stand now. The Most High is being funny right now, man. He, he, he's making fun of you. And that time, resort, resort to everything that you've resorted to in the past, man. All right? This is verse 12 again. Uh, stand now in thine enchantments. 
and with the multitude of thy sorceries, man, because Esau, your power is is is, is engulfed, or, or basically uh, is, is being, um, I'll say, driven out, uh, driven through witchcraft, man. That's all this this whole system is about. It's about witchcraft and sorceries, man. The so-called white men are a bunch of warlocks and witches, man. It's not just making a comment. They are really into the left-hand power, man. That's where they get their, their, their power from. But the, the Satan is a double agent for the most high, man. So that source of power is going to be cut off in that day, man. All right? It says, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. And you and you go back in. Man, you look into the history of the Illuminati and uh, Albert Pike and all these different uh, uh, Edomites throughout history and they were deep in the witchcraft man alright and there's, there, there's too much proof on it man alright it says wherein thou hast labored all your forefathers man all your forefathers were into witchcraft man and it continues on to this day it says wherein thou hast labored from thy youth if so be thou shalt be able to profit if so be thou mayest prevail so the Most High is really just fucking with your head again, man. Cause why? Cause the Scripture said in, in Job twelve and sixteen, the deceived and the deceiver are the Most Highs, man. All right. So in that day, when when the Most High uh, uh, sends his son back to upset your new world order, trust in your in your enchantments and search, uh, sorceries and see if you prevail in that day. And the answer is you won't. Why? Because you got played by the double agent Satan, man. I'm going to end it on that, man. Uh, once again, Lord Williams, edification came out of this video. I uh, want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhach Wadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.